Hello everyone, my name is Michael, and today we're going to be creating a turtle race game with the turtle module in Python. So, this is going to be a two-part series, with this being part one. We're going to create the track lines for the turtle race. Now, what this project is basically, four turtles um, on a line, and then you're going to see who can reach the end the furthest. So this is going to be part one, where we just create the track. On your screen, this is going to be the final result. There's the start line, the finish line, and the multiple track lines. First thing you want to do is open up your favorite Python IDE. I'm using Python Idle. You can use whatever you want. Uh, let's let me save this file first before I start writing it. I'm going to name this Turtle Race Two. I already created a Turtle Race before, but this is going to be my second time. Uh, and now the first thing we want to do is import the turtle module. This is this this will let us draw with turtle and then be able to create the game. Now now what we want to do is we want to have the pop-up window, which is basically just gonna display our game. So to create our pop-up window, we want to set the dimensions. So we can have the width of the window is equal to 700, and the height is equal to 500. These numbers are basically the amount of pixels. Uh, these are not these pixels are small, so 700 pixels isn't too much, but it's still a significant amount. Next, let's set the screen of the turtle, and let's set up the width and the height. Now, these two lines set up the pop-up window. We create a variable called s is equal to turtle dot screen. So instead of calling turtle.screen every single time, you just need to call scs.setup. Now we can set the background color of the screen. So s.bg stands for background color. And then we could have it, let's say it's light green. Light green. Now let's run this and see what happens. Let me save it. And let me run it. Yep. So you have our pop-up window here, which is 700 by 500 pixels. Uh, the background is light green, and now it doesn't have to be light green. Let's change it to, um, let's, let's see how it looks in red. Let's save this. Oops, oops. Uh, run this. And now the background is in red. Okay, let's create our pen now. Create pen. What this does it is that it allows us to draw straight lines with turtle. So we can have another variable turtle. T is equal to turtle dot turtle. This is our this is gonna be our turtle. We could set the speed of turtle to zero. Now this is gonna be the maximum speed. So whenever we want our turtle to move to a certain location, it will get there immediately. So Let's, now that we've created our pen, we can create our start line. We want to raise our pen up. Whenever the pen is down, it's going to start drawing. When you move the pen, even if it's even if you don't want it to, it's going to draw to the location. In order to prevent this, you have to raise the pen. So this is what t dot up means. It raises the pen up. So when we change the position, set position, it won't draw. So let's say we set the position to negative 40, 50. Think of this as a graph, and then these are just the coordinates. So in a graph, this will be in the uh, second quadrant. So we move the turtle to that position, and now we can write uh, the start line. This will just you know, show text at the position, and then we want to align this so it's centered, with the align is equal to center. Make sure you know their quotation marks align, there doesn't need to be quotation marks, or there shouldn't be quotation marks. Now, let's change the turtle 90 degrees. When you do turtle.right, t.right, it's going to change the angle of which the pen is facing. So if we do t.right 90, it's going to move the turtle 90 degrees, or ch change the direction 90 degrees, not move it. Now, we can move the turtle forward, with turtle.forward, or t.forward, by 10 pixels t dot down whenever 
I write something after this, or I move the pen after this, it's going to start writing. So I want to have a straight line. Let's have it set at 155 pixels. Now let's see how this looks so far. You see, okay, the pen went back over here, and then it went. It seems to be a mistake. Right, ninety four ten down. 20. Oh yeah, okay. I missed my forward. Yep. There you go. And also, red is kind of. Let's change it back to light green. Control S. There you go. Yep. Now you see the background's green. It went this at this point before I misspelled forward, so it didn't move forward. Make sure to spell your uh, movements correctly. Then it went down 155 pixels. No, great, we've created the uh, start line. Now what we can do is create the end line or the finish line to be more precise. Let's raise the pen again so that it doesn't draw. T dot set position to we want to change the position to the opposite side. So you know instead of negative 140, you can set it at 140, 50. You want to write the finish line, and you're gonna align it to um, center. So you want to center it. Move the uh, pen forward by 10, and then place a pen down. Move our pen forward, 155, and let's see how this runs. Okay, you move from this point, you set the position here, but if you didn't raise, I mean, yeah, raise the pen, there would have been a line drawn from here to there. So you want to raise your pen. Now, when we reach this point, we wrote finish line. Then we went 10 uh, pixels down, put our pen down, went 155 pixels down. So we can. Okay, we've created our finish line and our start line. So what we can do now is create our track lines. First thing we want to do, again, raise our pen, set the position of the pen to, uh, let's say, negative 170, 20. And let me just add some extra space here. Great. And then we could change the color of the track lines actually. So let's let's change the color of the pen to white. Uh we can T dot down from now on we want to start writing. And then let's change the direction of the pen 90 degrees to the left. So it's not facing down anymore. It's gonna face to the left 90 degrees. And then let's move forward. Oops, almost misspelled that again. Uh, 340 pixels. Let's run this and see how it looks. Alright, you, can, you notice how it's white. When it was at this point, it was facing down, so we want it to face uh, to the right. So if it's facing down, we want to change the angle 90 degrees to the left. And then we want 340 pixels to the right. Great, now we have to do four more of these in order to create four lanes. But there was a problem with that. If we want to create four more lanes, we don't want to obviously write it all out. You can just copy and paste this, but that would be pretty inefficient. So a simple solution would just be create a for loop. A for loop just runs whatever code is inside the for loop multiple times, and you could set the number of times that it runs. So this is how we create a for loop. For, you know, line in range five, you know, in range, this is how many times it's going to run. It's going to run five times. Then whatever code is inside this for loop, it's going to run five times. So we have to tab. Tabbing is very important in Python. So everything you want to run has to be tabbed. Let me just tab. The... Let me tab everything real quick. Untap this. So now we have this. Now we have all of this in our loop. Let's see what happens when we run this.
All right. Well, you see how there's a mistake. First of all, you notice how it goes in every four directions. And you notice how it stays. It starts at the same point every time. So those are the two things we need to fix. The first thing, we set the position to negative 170, 20 every single time. So what we want to do instead is change this position uh, as we move, as we progress through the for loop. So we want to change the position negatively. So we want to go down. We want to start the position downwards. So we can have the start y position. We want to start it at 20. Start y position. Position is equal to 20. And then every single time this for loop runs, you can have the start y position is equal to the previous start y position. Let's say minus um, 25 or something. Minus 25. So every single time the start position is going to subtract 25. Let's run this. Yeah, let's save it. All right, it worked, but we notice how it's still moving in every four directions. However, you can see that it started here, subtract 25 in the y coordinate. It went here, started here, started here, started here, and started there. Now, the only problem we need to fix is the direction. This is the only place where we change the, the direction. So we want to leave this out of the for loop. T dot left, so it only runs once. T dot left, and then take this out. So let's see. Uh, each time we don't want to change the direction every single time the fluid runs. There you go. It went from this point to this point to this point to this point, all the way from this point to this point. Now you can see how there are four lanes. And then in the next part, we're going to be creating four turtles, one turtle in each lane. That's just going to, you know, walk at a random speed to the finish line and whichever turtle wins is going to be you know the winner so this is our finalized code for this part and i'll see you guys next time in the second part